Okay. Oh, speaking of TikTok, so this is my, I have a special TikTok account that I've fallen in love with. Yeah. This guy is unbelievable. This is my special find. I've been tracking this guy's page because I just couldn't believe what I'm seeing. So he is a criminal defense attorney. And he gets people off for really f crimes. And then he goes and brags about it on TikTok. All right, we're outside of Rancho Cucamonga Courthouse with my amazing client. We're here on a third time DUI case that we totally crush. There's a mandatory minimum of 120 days county jail for this kind of case. They offered us 310 days jail on this case and they weren't budget, but today we got no jail, no, no jail. jail at all. No jail. Case zero. closed, zero. zero jail. Aren't you happy you forgot to bring your toothbrush? Oh my God, I'm what is really this? really glad I didn't need a toothbrush. We don't need it. No, we're good. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate you 100%. You're the man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she, she's on her third DUI. Uh, she's supposed to go to jail for a year. But what we did, we got her off zero jail. No it's prison a, gang. Also, the other weird thing is that he's like kind of putting them on blast. Yeah. Like yeah. publicly humiliating them for his <laughs> own <bit>. practice. <laughs> Chad saying the real life Saul Goodman. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Honestly, this guy's even less tactful than Saul with, right. with the way he's like, like Saul knows how to keep it like, like classy on the surface, you know, mm -hmm. like, look at this shit. Domestic violence. Oh my God. Two, like, I'm just saying two domestic violence cases consolidated into trespassing. Big dubs. Check it out. All right, we're right outside. Look at that big cool smile. Window. He's like, this man just killed his wife, and today I'm happy to say he got probation. He's oh moving in God. with his new girlfriend. Downtown <laughs> LA with my great client here. It was falsely alleged against him that he committed domestic violence against the mother of his child on one day, and it was also falsely alleged again that he did it two and a half months later. This was two domestic violence cases consolidated into one. And we just resolved the case. What did we resolve it for? What was the, the conviction? Trespassing. Trespassing. <laughs> we were fighting this case for about seven to eight what? months. We announced ready for trial on this case. We we're ready to go forward and beat the charges. And I'm pleased to announce that once, once he's done with probation, it's gonna be gone off his record once we expunge it. How you feel? I feel great. Appreciate you. Let's go. <laughs> God. Exactly. We got hey, they don't want to be put on out there nope. like this man beat his wife three times. What was your name? <laughs> <laughs> this one goes uh, second time DUI with alcohol and cocaine. <laughs> 150 day, days of jail reduced to zero. Oh my god. My man. All right, we just got out of court in beautiful All right. Newport Beach. We're here on a second time DUI. My great client here uh, was pulled over. He had doubled the legal limit. He was actually at 0.18 blood alcohol content. He had 13 nanograms of cocaine in his blood. He found an empty vial of that also. Uh, he was looking at 150 days of county jail out here, and we just crushed it. He's going to do how much jail? Uh, none. Zero, Zero jail. Time. Let's Zero go. Jail. <laughs> and after a year, he's going to be all done with this case, and he can move on with his life. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate the, the help and the work that you put in. That's great. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's you go. know, I wonder if it's in like the contract they signed that you have to make a TikTok at the end. Yeah, get some. I think what he does. Ten percent off yeah. if you let me uh, put you on blast on TikTok. I think uh, my great client here uh, was accused of many, many instances of domestic violence. <laughs> many, many, many. Christ. Great. He client. tried to get a restraining order. <laughs> Well, I'm very proud to announce he's a free man. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is the best. Is this not the craziest this shit you've ever seen? The greatest ever. It's <laughs> They're all false. His ex perjured herself like crazy. Like one crazy? by one, we attacked each accusation. And in the end, what happened? None of them are true, man. Thrown away. Let's go. Let's go.
Let's go. Well, if I ever get charged with a crime, I know who I'm. <laughs> I know who I'm hiring. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, let's go. We got to get his face on a sign just being like, let's go. Let's go. So the top comment on this one is no, keep this man off the road for life so you know it's good. <laughs> here we go. All right, we're right outside of Van Nuys Courthouse. I got my great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he had admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs. Oh, this, this is, I think this was the one I saw because it's like he admits to <laughs> oh it. Oh my God. He did all this and we got him back on the road. <laughs> My great client here, he was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly <laughs> overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. He caused a drug induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on the freeway. He flipped over a few times. Luckily, ah, everyone made it out. I can't. Oh, I was just looking at his face. <laughs> This man ran over a whole family on the highway. <laughs> he was blackout drunk, tested positive for PCP. He was going to go to jail for life, and we got him out on bond, ladies and gentlemen. No jail time, reduced to 10, to 10 months of community service, and he got his license restated. Huge dub. <laughs> All the comments are, no, keep this man off the road. <laughs> Bro is unleashing super villains. Send this man back to jail. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's the worst comment by far. Uh, and this comment, this is what I was laughing at. He says, the bro. <laughs> oh my God. Bro is standing there like, yeah, I did all that. <laughs> Like watch homie's face who he who he got off. <laughs> like holy <laughs> shit, dude. This is the best one. <laughs> Courthouse, I got my great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. Get him. He caused a drug induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on a freeway and flipped over a few times. Luckily everyone made it out all right. Okay, that's good at um, least. The fire department came with the police, used the jaws of life, dragged him out of the car and he started fighting with them. They charged him with, with resisting arrest also. Um, and the firefighters, the firefighters drag him out of the jaws of life and he just starts punching him. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. Let's see how he let's see let's see how he gets him off. Oh my god, this is the best. So um and we're pleased to announce that he's getting out of this with just a wet reckless. Hey, a reckless wet reckless. Year. That's a Ryan Kavanaugh. That's the Ryan oh, yeah. Kavanaugh move. Right. <laughs> Yo, what? He's like, he went into full psychosis, overdosed on multiple drugs, caused a major wreck on the freeway, hit two other cars, Anyone's fought with fighting? the police. <laughs> And the firefighters. It's just a wet and reckless, guys. We're very proud to announce that here today. And here's your license, buddy. Get back on the road. That doesn't sound like a wet, a, rec a wet and reckless to me. That sounds like straight menace. To, like that man should not be able to drive again. I'm sorry. Possession of meth for sales. He gets bailed out. Four months later, gets caught for the same exact thing. And. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Is he trying to make them like some, this man is a serial meth dealer? He's got a hustle hat on. Result <laughs> today on a DUI case. My great client here caused a traffic accident with a few parked cars. He was eventually found to have double the legal limit of blood alcohol. <laughs> that this man is doing a public disservice. <laughs> Holy shit. If you get if you get uh, drug induced psychosis and <laughs> crash into a bunch of vehicles, he's your guy. You guys were talking about it, and uh, people <laughs> comment a lot saying, "Oh, he probably gives a discount, or he probably has it in the retainer agreement." Ethan, you were actually right, a hundred percent. We're walking right outside the court, <laughs> and I just I just say, "Hey, there's one thing we got to do real quick. Do you mind if we take a little video for my social media?" And that's it. You blindside them, right? <laughs> Straight up. I mean, <laughs> they are so happy, though. Yeah. Like yeah, I'm it. sure they're just stoked. Like Can that. I ask you a yeah. question? It's someone I know this happened to, and you tell me if you could get this person off, okay? Go for it. So he had a, he's had a previous DUI. 
This is his second time driving drunk, and he hits and runs a police car while drunk, already has a previous DUI, gets arrested, and what happened to him is that it got reduced to a wet and reckless. Do you think that you could do that, or is that like kind of insane? To get I off think like I that. can do that, and the reason why, what really puts this guy in a good position to beat the DUI charge and or have it reduced to a reckless yeah. is because he hit and ran. Now, hit and run is, is another crime. You You're saying that. hit and run is a good thing in this case. <laughs> it, so, I love you, dude. You're the fucking goat, bro. So are you, you suggesting you that people hit and run if they're drunk? drunk? What? Are you suggesting that if you're drunk, you hit and run? I don't suggest it, but look, it could help. You, disclaimer, DUI is extremely dangerous. Crime is very, very bad. Now, okay, but let's say <laughs> let's say you just freak out and you happen to have hit and run because you're sure, freaking out. Sure. Okay. Sure. They need to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that you were intoxicated, you were impaired by alcohol or at 0.08 blood alcohol content or higher at the time of driving. It becomes very hard for the prosecutors to do that if at the time you're driving, you know, you hit the car and then you ran away. And now let's say it's like an hour or two or three or four later, they come up to you. What's stopping you from saying, look, I just needed a drink after that. That was hefty. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's probably that. So, guys, you heard it here. If you get if you're drunk and you are in a collision, get the hell out of there. Right. So I am not going to say why. I, I actually suggest nothing. <laughs> like, look, like, you do what you do, okay? Call me after you've done what you've done. I'll I'll, I can play. I, I, look, I just play the cards on Dells. Love But that. I will never tell anyone commit a crime or anything. All crime is bad. Let's go. Crime, but I'll tell you, um, whenever I get a call, I just got this girl called me, like, last week. And she said, hey, I freaked out and I ran away. And then the cops came to my house. And I said, okay, look, look, stop tripping out, all right? It was bad that you ran away, but it kind of helped you with the DUI. <laughs> my boy, so let's go. Movie. Let's go right now. <laughs> You're pretty slick. Are, do you consider, what do you think about the comparison of you to uh, Sal Goodman, for example? I love Sal Goodman. I love that show, <laughs> P Firm. Okay, P, so P Firm. So my TikTok uh. is P and P Firm 2.0. What happened uh, to 1.0? <laughs> well, P and P Firm got deleted. It got banned from TikTok. Why I was that? so confused. I had no idea why. Huh. And I appealed it, and they told us that, yeah, you violated our violent extremism policy. Weird. Maybe one of your Weird. clients did, but yeah, I mean they probably did, but I'm I'm just <laughs> that's true. So you're usually defending the, uh, of course the the violent uh, the the violent person. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, yeah right. <laughs> when you get a good result, you know. Like, well, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't like that they do it, but the thing is, when they come to me, it's already done. It's already done. Uh, so someone's got to do it, right? Somebody's got to do it. Rejecting the cute skinny girl that stabbed him? Or were you representing no, no, no. her? I mean, we, I, we took, I took her on as a client. Yeah, you were representing the, the cute skinny girl that stabbed yes. your boyfriend. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And you got that thrown out. <laughs> awesome. I mean, no one should have done that, but like, also he was acting a little up, so. He deserved it in a way. I don't think he deserved it, but <laughs> it wasn't, you know, it wasn't as egregious as I've seen it get. Let's go. I went on Wikipedia, and I saw that you guys uh, met on your birthright trip. Yeah. That's right. And uh, at Yad Vashem, the ho Holocaust. <laughs> That's <thing>. right. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in mind. Next time I go there, I'm gonna look for look some, for uh, someone nice there to me. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, people material. don't expect it, but it's the best place to pick up chicks. You know, they're sad, they're mourning, they're vulnerable. These red pill guys could take a tip from me. I tell you what. Right, we're right. Yes, yeah, we are. Hold on one sec. Uh, 
Hold on, hold on one sec, uh, buddy. Uh, what was your name again? I just David. call you P and P. David. Yeah, David, my man. Yeah, but like if a if a prospective employer saw you talking about how this dude was like clawed out of the jaws of life after attacking a cop, probably wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like if they well his his name's not in the TikTok, right? So why would he see it? So here's the thing: I'm not running for Congress anytime soon. No, not you, them. <laughs> I mean, they can't. They're wearing a mask. You know, they can't be identified. Uh, who's Koopa Troopers? Oh, that's just the name. That's just one of the names we call our uh, fans. It's a little embarrassing. I'm sorry. Oh, I've seen God. that around, and I was curious. What is that? Well, it's you like know, you know what a fupa is. Family. You know what a fupa is? Oh, is that like the section like in between your stomach and your like? Yeah. So I'm fat, <laughs> and then so and then you know what a Koopa Troopa is from Mario? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So Fupa Troopa. It's, a little, <laughs> it's kind of stupid. Love you know? that. Yeah, sorry about that. A lot of, by the way, lots of thirst trapping for you. Did you get any inquiries from women who were looking to? Yeah, uh, court yeah, you? definitely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, you know, I I didn't pursue anything, uh, but it was definitely interesting to watch. And my business partner also has access to our, our Instagram Instagram profile, and you know, he was like, "Oh, why don't you message this one back? Take this one out. Take this one out." And you know, I just steered clear smart man that's a good choice there i appreciate that yeah i don't i don't want you like hitting and quitting any of my fans david yeah I if know, you, I know hey who, uh, david if you sleep with one of my fans you got to marry him you understand that right no of course yeah of course. yeah 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 if you hurt one of my fans i'll kill you you understand that right you know i i totally <laughs> yeah of course i got a girlfriend david. Right now david no let's not do this to poor david um <laughs> So the reason I, I asked you to call in today, as I told you on TikTok, we have an urgent and uh, immediate important matter to get your take on. There's a, there's a big YouTuber. So many years. His name is Steve Will Do It. He did a podcast recently where he confessed in great detail to how he jerks off his dog. Yeah, you Usually. see cum stains in his dick is like, all big and throbbing, so like it sucks. Um, but is like, it illegal to describe a dick's a dog's dick as big and throbbing? Not illegal. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. And is showing this much thigh illegal or no? No. No. Okay. All right, thanks. We'll, we'll, Not we'll, in we'll, my jurisdiction. At okay. Least. All right. We'll keep. We'll keep moving. I'll, I'll tell you the story. <laughs> there is a family that has a garden. All right. First of all, they have a big German Shepherd in their backyard. That's the boy. And they have a gardener that comes once a week, and they started noticing that, oh, our German Shepherd starts acting weird on the days our gardener comes, and we don't know what the hell is going on. So they install a surveillance camera in the backyard, and it's kind of, it's like installed, like, kind of on the roof, and you can see down into the backyard. So the surveillance tape, showed the following thing. So it's, it, you see the gardener coming to work, he opens the door to the backyard and he comes into the backyard and he's holding a rake and like a cloth bag, I guess, to like rake like leaves into. The dog immediately comes and starts like jumping on him and you know, he's excited to see the guy and the guy like rakes a little bit, you know, and like looks around, he puts the rake and the bag away and I swear, he starts taking his pants off. And I'm watching this thing and thinking like, oh my God, is he about to fuck the dog? Like, <laughs> holy shit. No, it's crazier than that. He does not fuck the dog. He starts crouching and the dog starts getting up behind him and he lets the dog fuck him. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. That's disgusting. The dog? So, wait. So, so okay. At this point, I, go no, ahead. You can finish. I, not, I, I, I have not, questions. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> the dog fucks him, okay? Not long. Like, maybe, like, 10 seconds, if even, until the dog comes. I guess the dog's, like, like come fast. I don't know. Maybe and he just got a nice he, butthole, he, David. You consider that? Jerk off what? Bonnie? Maybe he just has a tight butthole. You consider that? I'm just you know saying, what? some guys finish in 10 one. seconds. Why you got to put down dogs? Maybe. <laughs> he takes a handkerchief out of his, like, like, little pocket in his shirt. He wipes his ass, puts it back, puts his pants back up, and starts getting back to raking. 
and that's and we charge it. That's a lot, man. I'm gonna die. That's a lot. <laughs> he continued to rake. What was the dog doing? Just chilling. Smoked a cigarette. Probably had some post not clarity. Who knows? Prosecution. There's different kinds. There's vertical prosecution and horizontal prosecution. Yeah, I would say this is definitely a horizontal uh, issue here. <laughs> <laughs> no, not so much vertical in this in this case. Yeah. But but I mean, listen, if you were defending the guy who got railed by the dog, I feel like you could have some plausible deniability. I mean, he didn't fuck the dog. The dog fucked him. I mean, maybe he should sue them. It's like, yo, your dog assaulted me. What's up? There's an angle there, right, David? You know what, Ethan? You are such a genius, and you're right. I mean, look, he's just sitting there. And whatever came to him, came to him. You didn't touch the dog or anything. Yeah. Right. Something there. You no, know, I, I think we can get one out of one juror out of 12. Right. You only need one. Right. One, you know, at least. My business partner's in trial right now on a pretty difficult car accident case. So I'm just uh, manning the fort. All right. Well, let's let's get that monster back on the road. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. All right, Let's David. We guys. love you. Take all right. Talk, talk soon, buddy. Thank Appreciate you. Well. All right. Let's move it all along here. Uh, up next, uh, this man, I'd introduce him if he needed one, but he really doesn't. Welcome to the show, the one and only America's favorite attorney. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Starts with let's, ends with go! Let's go! <laughs> let's go! They love you! I was in court the other day, and a prosecutor told me, you know what? Uh, my daughter is going to that H3 show. <laughs> So I want to give a shout out to an Amanda. Oh my God. Yeah. Amanda. Your, your dad's going to give me a good deal because of this. Damn. Yeah, thanks to you, Amanda, a fucking like serial drunk driver is back <laughs> on the road. Let's go. The only he only yeah! Easy shit. Oh. No, you have not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Just How wait. How long is this? <laughs> it's so crazy. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> How do they go to the bathroom? Yeah, so that's a lot, right? That's a surefire way to get on the sex offender registration, <laughs> right? Thank you. Hell thank yeah! You, Are you thank kidding you, me? Thank you. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Well, I was getting worried because uh, backstage I was talking to, and and you're like, "There's not necessarily anything wrong with it," and I was like, "Are you sure?" That was before you showed me it. That was okay. That wasn't just a prolapse. They were getting like sexual with it. Oh yeah. Of course. And uh, anyone have anyone have any legal questions for David? Real fast, I'll field one. Anyone been uh, drunk driving, uh, <laughs> molesting, um, domestic abuse? What do you got? That guy over there looks like he's uh, been through some shit recently. You been through some shit? What do you got? This guy's got some. I hit a car. He hit a parked car. Was there anyone in, in there? Did you run away? You run him over a mic. He he, he uh, says he's on it. Maybe on it. Here, we're gonna run him over a mic real quick. Thanks. He sa he says he hit a parked car. There was no one in the car, but security were, was trying to get him to stay. Do I got that right? Alleged, all alleged. Thank allegedly, you. Allegedly, allegedly. All right. So Hello? when security allegedly stopped you, <laughs> were you in the act of trying to run away? I offered them some money if I could just leave. Uh-oh. It's pretty slick. What do you think, David? But they, but they said no. <laughs> How much you offer them? I offered them 20 each, 
And they, made me, <laughs> they, and they said no, so I waited for the guy and gave him 100 instead. Oh. And he was cool with it. So there's no legal you're, issue. Yeah, you're, you're all good. good. Yeah, you're all good. I, I, wait, 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 wait. Let's go. I didn't have a license at the time. Oh. oh. Well, don't. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Hold Allegedly. On. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Now you're Cut. fucked. You were fine. Now you're fucked. <laughs> Did this happen in Los Angeles? Um, Riverside County? Oh, you're fucked. <laughs> Prison. Go. Oh, my Let's God. Go. The police are outside right now. All right. Thanks, David. Appreciate you, buddy. We got to keep it rolling. Oh, the king. Thank you. Yo, yeah, is the, whole, whoa, 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 David. There's an empty spot on the wall. Did you get disbarred in some area, spot, or what happened? <laughs> Now start, but the prosecutors today dropped the case. How do you feel? I feel great. This is unbelievable what you do. David, oh, what the, the fuck? Way, by the way, <laughs> what is uh, that? I had someone edit the video to like muffle his voice just to just to keep him anonymous because I you know I it's I don't want any trouble uh, in the future. Uh, you can all see the comments. People are saying like, oh he's guilty for sure, he's guilty for sure. There's no way he's guilty. Like, trust me, I've got like crazy witness statements on this case. Like, we did a crazy investigation here. So I just wanted to keep him safe. Do you do you put the mask? I said his face. You can tell when you like really look at it. He looks innocent. His forehead looks innocent as fuck. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel great. I don't think you helped. He sounds more like a Batman villain than ever. <laughs> he sounds... I feel great. Hello, Batman. And I got away with it. And he freed Bane. Hello. <laughs> Felt almost as great as... No, okay, I'm not going to go there either. <laughs> yeah, right. I really appreciate it. I was shivering. I was scared. I didn't know what's going to happen in my life. With all this accusation, my word against her word. But finally, as you said the first day to me, you came true. It was as fast as it could have been. And... I, am, I cannot be any happier. I really appreciate everything you did for me. And God bless you. And I would recommend <laughs> you to anybody and everybody. That's right. I hope you never be there. But if anything happened, I would recommend him as number one. I know a lot of attorneys. Yes. I have a lot of attorneys in my own family. But I appreciate him <laughs> because I trust him. That's an endorsement. And All right, we'll let's hurt. go. Yeah, that, that one wasn't as funny, and I'll tell you why. It's because you, you didn't outline what he was accused of in great detail. That's my favorite part. What she did. Is there any chance that your client there has drove under the influence of some drug, crashed into a police car, got taken out by the jaws of life, or fight the police, or not anything like that? Not no, this okay. one. Okay. Not this one. Dang, that's, those are my favorite. I know, me too, but he's actually a good guy. And I don't like representing actual innocent people. It's it's so much pressure for me because it's like... Damn, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. Back up. Say that again. Say that from the beginning. I, I, I don't know if I misheard you. It's really difficult representing people who are totally innocent wow. but falsely accused. Yeah. So, so... So, in, you're saying actually innocent victims are the hardest to defend, huh? Yeah. Because look, look, look. There's legally there, there are people who 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 are not guilty, okay? But that's different than if you're actually innocent. Right. Guilty means guilty right. beyond a reasonable doubt. But oh, what happened? You know, are you back? You're, you can be not guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, but. You know, but he still fucking did it. You know what I mean? Like OJ. Yeah, this guy. We're talking like guy, when you say you, you when you say uh, innocent with like air quotes. We're talking like OJ innocent, right? I, in my opinion, OJ. Look, OJ had a lot of a lot of evidence, man. I'm telling you, like the hair. Look, his hair on both dead bodies, like... <laughs> How did they get him off? something that I heard when I went to the DA's office. <laughs> they found his hair on both dead bodies? I didn't even know that. That's what I was told at the That's DA's That's awesome. Office when I worked there. The justice system works, right? Um, I, he was not guilty, beyond a reasonable doubt. Yeah, he's not, not guilty. guilty. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. <laughs> beyond a reasonable yeah. doubt, right. He was innocent as fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's innocent as fuck, in other words. <laughs> Oh, I love you, David. You're the best. Can be made that he's innocent as fuck.
I, and I don't know, you tell me, has he made statements that look like if you take this product and you work out like I do, you're going to look like me? Yes. I think that's provable, so, probably. So, I mean, if we inject those facts that he he's made representations that I'm natural and like, you just got to take my product and this is do what I do as I preach, you know, and, and this is, this can be your body. He could potentially be guilty of that uh, because it's, it's a false advertisement. Call that a but, false advertisement. But here's the thing. <laughs> Even su He's super rich, you know. I'm sure he finds someone out there in Texas to fucking shoot him up with horse tranquilizer or whatever he takes. Look, I mean, I've been to Mexico, and you can see there are these pharmacies everywhere. You can buy drugs that are illegal in the U.S., and they got signs like, like human growth hormone or whatever, steroids. And then they also sell, like, like, oxycodone and like that's crazy and all that stuff. But, but you know you're just walking around and there's like pharmacies li like literally having a list of all these things that are illegal in the u.s and you just go and you know buy them from that's there. crazy where was that mexico really do you remember this the city that's crazy that's super um, dangerous i've seen it in i have seen it in a what's it called rosarito really what's the closest Houston. airport that's so fucked up the closest airport yeah how'd you get there uh, uh i drove i mean you Los drove Angeles, you damn like that's crazy i wonder if you could get that pass pack over the border without any problems um well i mean i never <laughs> try to smuggle anything but i know like the two times i've been in mexico in the last few years i don't think i was searched coming back shit and do you know what that cost was or or like do i have to no idea yeah, i never and, went and, in and do, do i need to say like a code word or they just they, they it's there i can buy i mean you oh, could it's there. yeah you could buy yeah, it sell damn it that's you. wild do you remember the name of the pharmacy or no they're everywhere <laughs> i'm telling you just walk around like it, it's like almost every block like in the in the tourist area, they know that the tourists are going to want this stuff. That's crazy, so, man. Anyway. Just walk around. That's crazy. Anyway, thinking about going to Mexico over this winter break coming up. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Would you get blasted with me down in Mexico? David? Yeah, hell yeah, I would. Fuck! Let's go get let's let's go. let's go get some DUIs in Mexico and crash into fucking fight the police and shit. All right, I'm down. You know, we'll, uh, nothing will happen to you, Ethan. <laughs> I'll be totally fine. Yeah, I'm sure. You'll be fine. I have uh, your back. That sounds fun. I'd love to do that with you. All right, David, you're the greatest, man. Keep letting those, keep letting those crim I mean, innocent people off, okay? I will. Yeah, I you. will. Thank you. Let me get my neck brace on before he calls in. Yeah, actually, that's good. <laughs> Thank you, girl. You're welcome. You should, right, ask you should ask him if he's ever had a, a client put one of those on. Too, good so. fucking question, dude. You know, the real shame is to that juice we, the uh, jury a little bit. Have you ever instructed um, a client to wear one of these? <laughs> that is outside the scope of my expertise. <laughs> I I have definitely had clients go to doctors who recommended that. Ah. Oh. So you wouldn't recommend it, but you know a guy who might. <laughs> I, <laughs> all, all I can do is my best, and if someone needs help seeing a doctor, I can point them. Dude, you're awesome. Everything. I love you. <laughs> you truly are America's uh, favorite attorney. It was so bad, and by the way, I'm sorry for the echo. I just moved into this brand new office, and it's all wood. You're good. You moving up? Fancy, fancy. Is it an upgrade? Hey, look at that. Yeah. That's, can I see out the window? You got a view? Wait. Me, if do it this. don't, if it's gonna dox you, don't show it. But yeah, if it's I like guess. a nice view, then we're talking. <laughs> Let's see what I you got. I got Beverly Drive out here. Okay, not exactly a view, but uh, not nah, it's not view. not that. And he's no, still no, living no. there with a bunch of like addicts. They just do drugs there. It's well, like you know a, what? At, just, now that she's been removed from the situation, good. Stay there. Fuck those landlords. That's a hundred percent our <laughs> attitude too. I was like, enjoy the fucking. <laughs> Is what you get. Enjoy it. Now, now that we're talking about, it, I'm thinking I might send some more clients out there. So, you know. <laughs> I know a place you guys can <laughs> stay. I know a great house you can stay at. Oh my god! There was that one video we watched recently where you he wouldn't say how fucked up the crime was. Right. Did we ever ask David about that? Can you pull that up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There, there was one recently. I don't know if you saw us talk about it, but we could tell that dude fucked up, and it was one of the <laughs> only ones. 
mm-hmm. where you don't say what he did. So I was like, yo, this guy must be All really right, fun. Right outside of Here Rancho Cucamonga Courthouse, where we scored big. <laughs> Uh, at the outset of this case, it was really tough, I'll tell you, we had multiple so victims, we had multiple charges. Yeah, one thing we noticed the first time watching this, we you had- might appreciate, is just how big your eyes get <laughs> when you talk about how bad his crimes were. It was really Bless tough, them. I'll tell you, we had multiple victims, we had... Wait, let me go back. Gotta go back. back more. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Cucamonga Courthouse, where we scored big uh, at the outset there of this case. <laughs> See that? <laughs> That was a that was a tough one for you, David. I could tell. Big, uh, at the outset of this case, it was really tough. I'll tell you, we had multiple victims. We had multiple charges. We had a lot of jail on the line. But I'm proud to announce that today we took a good deal. No jail. And this is going to be off his record in no time. How do you feel? Oh, wow. I feel great. You got me off. So what did he do? Can you say? Or what was yeah, he yeah, I innocent? Can, I can of? say. Yeah. Oh, he can say. Oh, okay. Yeah, what was no, no, he no, innocent? I, I what didn't he do, actually? Right. Damn, is he going to be really embarrassed? Because it was mm. pretty bad. <laughs> it was, well, now let's it do was, it in front of 40,000 people. <laughs> you know, it was a DUI. Started off as a DUI, okay? He's drunk and high. High on what? Weed? Yeah. So, I mean, does that count as being high? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. meant, but it definitely counts. I mean, yeah. drunk and high is a pretty deadly combo. So he he crashes into a car that then crashes into another car in front of it, and he he's like, oh shit! Um, the guy in the in the last car that gets hit is an <laughs> off-duty police officer. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> he gets out of the car. And he walks up to my client's door and starts cussing him out. Mm. And my client's like trying to explain himself, like, I'm sorry or whatever. And by the way, this is all alleged. I mean, I wasn't there, but. Yeah, um, alleged, right. Yeah, (laughs) allegation. Allegedly, the off duty officer takes out a gun. Whoa. Okay. What? What the fuck? My client freaks out reverses and gets the hell out of there and and he like goes away a few blocks you know left right left right whatever it is that's good though that's your advice right to drunk drivers leave the scene (laughs) he followed your advice not my advice but i have seen it before with good Uh, outcomes right and it has worked for other people but not my advice uh that was allegedly thrown into a neighbor's property he found a half burnt joint on the uh oh on the God. floor where you know the driver's floor my client's car uh and it was tough man Planted, they, sure. they, beyond this... a reasonable doubt is such a good tool it's what it is i mean that that's what the law is right there <laughs> gotta be beyond a reasonable doubt that's what it is that's you know? what it is if there's any doubt that's what it is. Let's That's go. What it is. Let's, Let's go. fucking go. Let's go. It doesn't take much for something to be reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable. Yeah. Right? Think unreasonable and just add, like, just go a little bit this way and then you're there. <laughs> right. That's it. Was he driving? <laughs> Was he drunk? Maybe the bottle, maybe the bottle found in his car was uh, what flew into it when he crashed. It was from maybe uh, the car it, behind him. He said it. the bottle was right. uh, found in a yard. That wasn't his. Yeah, that How could can be they prove any, that? You know, it's just some some. The joint they found in awesome. his car. <laughs> my Who knows would, how it got my there? My client would never waste weed like that. He, right. he, he finishes his joint. Responsible <laughs> weed owner. He's never left the half. Yeah, no, there. never. Never. And I have ten witnesses who will come to trial to testify. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this whole blood line. rotation <laughs> yeah. will attest to this. I decided to court with my client. We absolutely crushed his case. <laughs> Look, this was a second-time DUI. 
Yeah, he was leaving the Rufus Du Soul concert at the Hollywood Bowl, had okay. some drinks, had a dirty dog, a delicious glizzy. He was having a good ass time there. Oh, that sounds cool. Wanna laugh? I was at that concert too. Oh. <laughs> and I also had a dirty dog. You know how uh, good of a time that guy had. Mm-hmm. Rufus the Soul, man, they get you partying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, Allegedly, he got behind the wheel and crashed into another car with an angry person in it who called the police. Now, I mean, what's it, the angry person? The angry what person. Idiot. Who cares? No, he, who cares, he was man? Angry before the accident. He was angry before the accident. There's such. Oh. Already have a bad night. Uh huh. It was at issue whether or not he was really the driver or if it was his girlfriend True. driving. Reasonable the doubt. Police never even asked him if he drove his own car. And he was just standing there talking to the police, doing the field sobriety test, never even asked him. And the other driver, his statement was was kind of iffy too. So at the end of the day, they couldn't really, really prove it 100%. It was too risky if they went to trial. They probably, you know, they could have, you know, it was a roll of the dice. So that's why <laughs> it we- It seemed did. like, uh, uh, he probably did that shit. Took it for granted here, but, so they didn't ask my client, which is weird because, like, why would you ask someone if he drove his own car? Okay, well, he had a passenger. Because it was so it. obvious he was driving, right? Yeah, but <laughs> what they wrote in the report was they talked to the other guy, the driver of the other car, and that guy said he saw my client exiting the car from the driver's side door. Really? Yeah. So that was their only only basis for him being the driver so we turned around and i mean that's said, pretty good that's pretty good though you're like a hero in the dui movie. community <laughs> <laughs> you know they probably the, dr- the dui community probably has pictures of you like the patron saint of drunk driving <laughs> The mothers against drunk drivings have pictures of me too. <laughs> That's it's true. Huh? Oh. Yeah. You're, here, here's one more. <laughs> Another DUI dismissed. I'm with my great client here. He was charged with a DUI. Uh, it was really late at night, past 3 a.m. He was involved in a car crash. It wasn't his fault, okay? And I believe you, bro. He- hey, David, I believe you. <laughs> they did not. God bless you, man. Fuck the police. Am I right? Fuck the DA. Fuck the police. No, the DA. Well, it depends on which the DA. People are saying, have you considered this for a slogan? Better dial Dave. <laughs> and that's really good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. That's really damn good. Better dial Dave. I'm telling you, man. You're the real deal. Well, if I use that, I hope none of your fans come after me for uh, <laughs> copyright or anything. I can't promise. I mean, I won't, but uh, hey, if they're maybe they're going to find another Dave to represent them, then you're in real trouble. <laughs> Good luck. Someone as scrappy as you.